Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Arnavi Mitra and I am a power programmer at Infosys. So I generally make videos on how to prepare for coding exams and how to get the coding interviews and uh, in this video uh, as the uh, name suggests i will be answering all of your questions uh, regarding the power programmer assessment so recently i have created one google form and i have asked you to put all your questions and i will be answering and i will uh, resolve all your doubts so i got a lot of response there and i have selected the eight questions almost all the questions are uh, almost same so I have selected the eight questions and I will be answering you uh, and I will try uh, I hope it will uh, resolve all your doubts so first uh, question I saw a lot of question regarding how can one apply for the power programmer assessment so it has uh, many sections so first of all if you are a college student and you want to apply for it uh, you can apply uh, two ways. Uh, one exam is hack with NP and another exam is InfiTQ. By giving these two exams, uh, you can uh, apply uh, for the uh, in interview process of uh, uh, Infosys and based on your performance, uh, you will be uh, uh, called for the interview for either DAC role or the power programmer. So suppose your exam is very good and you have solved a lot of questions then the chance is uh, higher that you will be called for power programmer assessment otherwise they will they can call you for DAC assessment. So this is for the college student. Now suppose you are already uh, interviewed as DAC role and then after completing one uh, year in the Infosys you will be given a chance to upgrade your role to power programmer uh, for a power programmer role like uh, like i joined infosys as dsc role and then after one year i got a chance to give the assessment and uh, then i am promoted to power programmer role now suppose you are a senior uh, sorry a, sen a system engineer or senior system engineer and you want to change your role to power programmer assessment so or you are an Infosys employee so for that you need to go through the bridge programming so I didn't uh, went through bridge programming but I got a lot of questions from you regarding the bridge program so I asked some of uh, people who went through the uh, bridge programming so every quarter uh, Infosys um, uh, schedule some uh, power assessment for the power program this is every quarter so you will be getting mails if you are el eligible and then you can go to the uh, 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 an internal portal and there you can apply for this bridge program so uh, you if you are eligible eligible then you will be getting mail and it's uh, like every quarter and there is no such cool down pre period or suppose uh, in the first half you, you are not able to clear the exam you can go and see for the next quarter because the mails uh, they are sending they didn't mention anything about any cool down period or like how many chances are there so in each quarter you have the option so this is how you will be apply uh, you can be a power programmer and Infosys also hire external candidates from, uh, from who are um, like who has some experience like last year Infosys uh, hired some of the uh, candidates as power programmer role who are external and uh, not college student but they have some experience so like this also uh, you can join Infosys as a power programmer you can stay in con contact with the Infosys employees and Suppose Infosys uh, again decide to uh, hire the uh, power programmer, that time like uh, you can apply it through them. Now the next question is how tough are the interviews for DAC role uh, because time is so less to prepare core subjects. Yeah, this I guess this is a question from a student. So uh, the interview process I will be explaining. So for example, uh, if you are a college student then and you have like uh, cleared the infotech or hack with in uh, test then uh, this time uh, you need to uh, in the interview they can ask you coding questions and the 
things are almost similar the way the questions were asked in the test so i guess you are preparing for clearing the hack with np or if i take your test so same kind of they can ask one or two coding questions and other than they can ask uh, from core subjects as well for example dbms object oriented programming uh, suppose you have the knowledge of c++ or java that is mentioned in your cv they can ask the questions from there now suppose you are an infosys employee and you are going through a power pro beach program or you are already a dsc and you are um, going to upgrade your role in that case infosys earlier used to take interviews and they used to ask coding questions but nowadays they are moving on to formal discussions round for my case also i didn't went through any interview round uh, i went for a formal discussion round and here they may ask you questions from your training like uh, they ask some uh, like when anyone join infosys we need to go through trainings they can ask you from your trainings they can ask what uh, what technology we want uh, they can ask you from that they can ask your questions from the current project you are in so it's a more uh, formal discussion not an interview but a discussion like they uh, want to know what is our uh, interest based on that they can provide a, a good project or development project okay so next question is can you specify the topics we need to prepare for the interview uh, for this uh, i would suggest uh, i have already uh, created one uh, uh, video like my uh, what is my, what was my strategy to uh, prepare for the interview and there i mentioned what are the topics i chosen and uh, how i prepared through lead code you can go and check uh, there i would say like array string linked list and greedy approach uh, the uh, dynamic programming graph these are the basic uh, dsa topics whenever you are learning a uh, dsa you will go through these topics and i would suggest go through all the topics and greedy and dynamic programming are the important one you can uh, like uh, practice a lot of more questions of this topics uh, will they ask to code any program or they ask the concept uh, which will like most likely in a project so as i mentioned that if you are joining uh, you are a student and uh, they are you are giving an interview there are chances they will give you uh, they will ask you to screen share and code and explain your logic but if you are an infosys employee and going to a role change they are more uh, recently changed the interview process to formal discussion so most probably for your case uh, also it will be a discussion round and they will ask questions from your project and your trainings or uh, maybe if you mention anything that uh, you have in suppose you are mentioning you have interest in back end you have in your project you are working on java so they can ask you some questions from java i uh, suppose you are saying you are interested in front end uh, mean stack they can ask you some questions from angular so like this uh, it will be a discussion not an interview uh, if uh, you got a mail of formal discussion round okay so in the fifth question i guess i know only coding don't have any knowledge of if i see at the coding round interview you ask the full stack so again uh, i'm saying that uh, for uh, as a student uh, to become a power programmer if you haven't mentioned anything in your cv there is very less chance that they are going to ask you questions from front end or back end technologies and if you are working in front end or back end then they can uh, ask you questions but uh, they mostly focuses on interviews and some Uh, object oriented questions or maybe some java c++ related questions dbms these are the important things uh, and after interview in how many days we got qualified or rejected uh, what is further process of interview so uh, i also getting a lot of questions like how much time they are taking so uh, generally they are uh, uh, doing this uh, in every quarter like in every quarter they are Uh, selecting some of the power programmers and one thing to notice that for every quarter they generally have two uh, slots for example 
when i gave the example uh, exam in the october november december quarter there were two exam slots one was in october and one was in november so the one who gave the exam in the october uh, they had to wait a lot for uh, getting the result because uh, they will complete two slots first and then they will publish the result as i gave the exam on november and it was like one to two weeks and i got the result first they will uh, send you one one to one mail that you are qualified and then they will give you uh, all the details now suppose you have given the test in the first slot so at the worst case you, you can you, you need to wait for uh, one month but, but um, you can wait for one to one and a half month and then you will get to know all the uh, results and uh, yeah they they also mainly rejection mainly if you are not able to qualify and the further process of interview like they will explain if there will be one interview or a formal discussion and based on that you can uh, prepare and how to prepare what are the subjects and topics uh, mostly asked uh, yeah so i have also prepared one uh, video that i said that top 10 codings you must prepare that was based on the uh, experience like uh, for my exam and uh, i asked many people who gave the exam and based on that i selected and i prepared uh, a video on top 10 codings and i would suggest you go and check those uh, code, not the exact coding but i suggest uh, see the topics uh, of that coding like i mentioned about c algorithm the graph a uh, topological source uh, bfs based on that there are a lot of questions so if you are able to solve that question i believe the you will get the knowledge how to solve them and based on that, uh, you can solve any uh, questions which are related to them. So you can check out my that video uh, and you can go and uh, learn those topics. And from there, you will be understanding what, are, what type of question they mainly uh, ask. And in the interview also in the live coding problem, they are a similar type of question they ask. And uh, uh, the question pattern is like sing. Uh, one simple question one medium and one hard uh, there will be three questions and uh, i also got um, questions like uh, how many question we need to solve so i would suggest like if you are solving uh, at least two or more than two then you can be sure that you are getting a interview or a formal discussion on call and um, if you are solving the hard problem and the medium then it's very good that uh, you can be sure that you are uh, going to get a call. And uh, the next question, what is the compensation of SP role, uh, SPR power program? So it was 8 LPA, but recently they have changed it to 9.5 LPA. So the one who are getting offer letters from the January, uh, they, are, they may have noticed that uh, it is written as 9.5 LPA. So Infosys will soon implement this 9.5 LPA compensation. So these are the main questions I got and I uh, I have prepared this uh, P, uh, PPT and I have answered your question. So if you have any uh, more question, you can let me know in the comment section. I will try to uh, answer those questions as well. And if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.